Breaking news. How DSS detained me for six months, demanded of me to transform a cat to become Igboho, a far soto explained. This is the young man who was kidnapped for six months without any human beings knowledge. In fact, they thought he was, uh, he was kidnapped by DSS. They thought he was kidnapped by other set of people and that things have happened to him. In fact, six months they've reported the matter to the police and what have you, and nothing was coming out of it. Guess what? It was after they, re they released Igbo Ho's uh, AIDS that one of them, you know, we're just talking about that they've not seen this guy for such a long time or since they were arrested from Igbo Ho's. He said, I saw him now in another grand cell in Igbo, in, you know, and he said it, and that was when DSS knew that their secrets were out. They had to quickly, you know, come into the, uh, release the guy. Let's get all the details, what really happened. Speaking with the punch, the 29-year-old man said DSS operative demanded him why he was in detention for six months to transform a cat to become Igbo Ho. The traditionalist Dada Ifatu who shared the ordeal he passed through why he was in custody of the Department of State Security Services, DSS, for six months, elaborated. Recall that he was recently pronounced innocent and released on December the 24th, 2021, after DSS wrongfully accused him of preparing charms to empower Yoruba nation agitator. Sunday Adeyemo, a.k.a. Igboho. In this interview, the punch, the 29-year-old said, DSS operative mocked and demanded of him to turn a cat to become Igboho. My name is Dada Fatu. I am 29 years old, old. I am a herbalist, medical practitioner, and a traditional based in Ekiti. I inherited my divination from my forefathers. I am also a youth volunteer and I do vigilante and mute cooperation to chase kidnappers away from Ikare Ekiti. I have not met him before. He said, Who is Sunday Boho? He said, I have not met Sunday Boho, but I've heard a lot about him in the news report and in the media. The Yoruba Nation rally he attended in some southwest states before he was arrested. I never met him personally, but always hearing of all. How were you arrested? There is a young man called Taju, who I had known for some time. He's a commercial motorcycle rider in Ibadan. He had come to me for treatment for an ailment. I called him afterward to follow up on the treatment that I gave to him. But unknown to me, he is an aide. To Chief Sunday Boho, the DSS has arrested him and some other aides during the wide report ninth raid that happened in Igboho's house on July the 1st, 2021. When I phoned him, his line rang and it did not pick, which was strange to me. I never knew DSS at that time has taken him and he was in their custody. The next thing I saw was that on July the 16th, 2021, four fully armed men in Mufti stormed my sitting room in Ikare Ikiti, where, where, where about, uh, this was about 6 p.m. They scattered everywhere, asking me where are my Android phones. Uh, after I gave them my phones, they told me I called a commercial motorcycle rider in Ibadan. They said Taju, he was detained and that they had come to arrest me. They searched my apartment asking if I had a gun, but I told them I do not own one. I asked them to show me their search warrant, but they did not provide any. Apart from my phones that were with them, from which they took from my apartment, they fixed, the, they ransacked the whole house and left the place in a mess, but didn't find a single thing incriminating. They took some of my divination tools. One of the foremen said, they should start leaving, but another fellow shot him up and insists that they 
arrest me. I told them I had not committed any offense to warrant being arrested. They were speaking Yoruba language till, till that point. But the four of them switched to Hausa language. Immediately they discussed for minutes. I didn't understand what they said. They speak both Hausa and Yoruba. And you can tell that they've lived in Yoruba land for a long time, but actually are this Fulanese. So this is what happened. This was the ordeal that happened to uh, this young man. He has not even met Sunday Igbohu from what you can hear about him. He has not even met Sunday Igbohu in person. He has not even met Sunday Igbohu. Say this is Sunday Igbohu. He has met. He has not. So he does not even know Sunday Igbohu before this ordeal. All these things are happening to him. He has not even met Sunday Igbohu. Okay? He has not. But guess what? After all these things, guess what? Now, his life is now in a serious jeopardy. His life is in a serious jeopardy where because he called somebody whom, whom he treated and kept called to follow up with the person, they immediately, you know, were after him. You, they would have asked the person to say, give us the address. If you don't give us blah, 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 and he gave them the address gave them the address, you know, they, they, they followed up with him and they came to his address to pick him up. They came to his house to pick him up, you know, and that was how they treated him, you know, in a disdain manner and the way they went about things. This is very, very, you know, very, very, un, very, very unprofessional, you know, this is, and they get what they went there without even a search warrant. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the, you know, they were speaking Yoruba with him up to this point. So this is what happened when strangers begin to live around, among and around you. They begin to understand you. They begin to know and see who you are. They understand your weakness. They are studying you. And at the end of the day, they turn out to become the very people who are committing all forms of crime. Because if you listen very closely, these people, you know, they came speaking Yoruba, speaking with him. Meanwhile, he has not even met Sunday Boho. According to what you heard, he said when well, he treated one of Sunday Boho's aid at some point, and he only called to follow up with him, you know, to check how are you, are you getting better? Not knowing that he's been arrested, he did not even know that he was in, you know, police custody at this point in time. So anyone who had called the people at, the, at that time they were in a custody has become a new criminal. You see, Nigeria, is that the way to carry out investigation? And he was there for six months in an underground cell. God will save us in this nation. God himself alone is the only one who will save us. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.